leadership mm-hmm. it's 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 all not about uh number one uh manipulation it's about inspiration spirit Ever wondered what it takes to become a great leader in what ever field you are given ever ask yourself how is it that young guys can embrace leadership and become great at it and what does it take to build a team and manage a team especially of your age group set and even those that are beyond above you it requires grace it requires stability and also it requires God's help to help you through it all so today in this next episode which you're jumping into straight we have one of our very own guest leader it's a guy who has been in this journey of leading quite majority of youths and also the age set guys and today we are going to dive deep on what it takes to have a successful leadership going on so in studio with me today is mr joseph and i'll give him chance to introduce himself and take us through the journey of him what it takes to lead a successful group welcome mr joseph to the studio wow, wow. Thank, thank, you. thank you thank you thank you and uh, uh i'm happy to be here and humbled also to be here mm-hmm. uh, mm, i can't really say that uh, uh that is my achievement uh mm-hmm. but uh let me just say that uh it it's it's also a journey and mm-hmm. uh in here it's about it's all about uh number one god helping you all through the the processes mm. and so i i can't i can't regard it uh to maybe a personal effort or maybe uh uh maybe the hard work mm-hmm. but uh especially in and maybe in a christian setup uh mm-hmm. It takes the hand of God to help you uh, in this uh, day-to-day uh, and just trying to maneuver through the day-to-day endeavors of uh, whichever team that you're leading or whichever mm-hmm. team that you're managing. Mm-hmm. So yes, uh, and thank you. Uh, my name is Joseph, and I'm happy to be here and just to uh, to just try to iron out some of the things maybe mm-hmm. that we go through and uh, all about leadership. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. And also thank you for honoring our invitation and coming through. You no know, in a busy schedule but you managed to be here this time. So as as you have heard, there are quite a lot of people and you know we understand that leadership is not something that we inherit. Leadership is not something that we learn but it it comes from the Lord first of all. And uh it requires grace as we said in the first phase. So how how was it in the beginning were you that person who were born naturally into leadership or it was a struggle of you knowing how to lead a team well 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 um i can't really say that uh, i knew this is a talent mm. actually uh if i meet my village people uh mm-hmm. they'll tell you that i'm the silent guy mm-hmm. <laughs> and i usually laugh at this uh when i meet them because uh some of them still know as a silent person mm-hmm. uh, but then uh there are some uh platforms that you be given yeah. and then just god gives you a chance or like a, an area where all just positions you are in in, in some place mm-hmm. and then you just uh become noticeable mm-hmm. by maybe because of one virtue or another mm-hmm. and then from there uh it's it's a process of growth mm-hmm. day in day out so uh i can't really say that it's it's a talent or a natural thing for mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. but it has taken uh maybe uh, uh some growing uh, uh day in day mm-hmm. out encountering uh, uh issues you've never encountered and uh, uh maybe generally i can just say that uh for me uh, leadership i've just I, I usually say that I'll try to uh or just and 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 just try to see how I can better myself through this uh yeah. I meet new problems I just with the help of maybe, maybe some other people through some guidance mm-hmm. just how know how to maneuver or just come uh, with a solution mm-hmm. so it's 
most three it's not a, an inborn thing and mm. for me it's not an inborn thing were you at any point trying to run away from leadership like i do i was chosen in quite a lot of places to be leadership since school but i've been running away from leadership from that time to this date did you ever have that experience with yourself well uh it happens always mm. and always i mean always and but uh the very good thing is that for me mm. uh, i understood one thing yeah that uh especially in in a, in a church setup mm-hmm. uh i learned uh, all i understood that uh leadership mm-hmm. it's 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 all not about uh number one uh manipulation mm-hmm. it's about inspiration inspiration so uh and the moment uh you inspire people mm-hmm. that is now the time you're bringing an impact in their lives and if you hear the feedback then mm-hmm. you like you feel encouraged and then number two I learned that uh, 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 leadership, uh, especially in, in this setup, it, mm. it's about servanthood. Servanthood. So uh, you you just come to realize that uh, this is uh, me trying to run away, yes. Mm. But then uh, it's this is not my life. This is God's life. So mm-hmm. uh, uh, He has what He has for me. He has His package. Mm. He has how he wants me to do things mm-hmm. so i'm not going to dictate how i do it mm-hmm. so if he just uh sets me up in, in such an area then i just allow myself to be used uh, mm-hmm. of god to mm-hmm. maybe impact uh his people in the way he he he, he desire so it's not about me uh, uh just uh, realizing that this is god positioning you in in some place and then so that you c- he can bring impact mm-hmm. to his people so uh you try to run away but then after you realize that you'll be like okay god help me you'll always find you yeah. mm-hmm. even when you're running away yeah for me it has been a struggle mm-hmm. actually in whatever setup i step into i want to be placed as a leader i'm chosen as a leader but i've been postponing it um i'm a, a guy who grew up in that environment of uh, alone so i enjoy the lone solitude moments so if you tell me to lead people i know how to unpair stress ya kichwa so <laughs> <laughs> i try to hold back from it mm-hmm. but you no know, there are people who are you're naturally a leader whether you step in some places or not you're naturally a leader and you can't hide that mm-hmm. and uh, some people do believe that leadership is all about uh, having the straight as you have said that is all about inspiration and motivation and mm. bring the best out of people mm. i think that's the best definition that you can give it mm-hmm. because leadership is all about knowing your team mm-hmm. and building your team and establishing them mm-hmm. now we come back to the now the church setup mm-hmm. you know in church the view of leadership is different from the corporate yeah in the church there are aspects that people want you to display mm-hmm. and now before you jump into those aspect how has it been with you in the church leadership because you are my leader uh, in the young professional and uh, i know there are quite a lot of things you go through that sometimes we we cannot even hear you cannot air out so how has been the journey of you being a leader in an age set that is equally yours and some above you how how was it has been the challenge in it wow uh maybe uh in one word i'll just say that this has been a journey of growth mm-hmm. but it's just what i can just explain or just try to uh say uh, about how my journey has been and especially in the church setup mm-hmm. but uh growth uh doesn't usually come uh in a smooth way mm-hmm. growth comes in somehow a rough road because uh you meet uh some handles here and there you meet some obstacles but then uh remember that uh uh for you to lead remember you can't pour from uh, a cup yes. that is not full mm-hmm. so uh, you have to grow by force by fire by force mm-hmm. so and then uh growth means that there also the the you now uh maybe uh, asking for maybe advice uh insights from those who before you mm-hmm. it also means uh that uh you also committing whatever you doing to god asking god mm. god there is this thing that these people desires of me and i don't have no idea of how to go about it mm-hmm. oh god please come and help me and and just uh maybe also the other readers who who maybe you are a team with just mm. 
telling them this is what is supposed to be done all uh, how do we go about this and then you share ideas so mm-hmm. uh maybe b- basically uh it's not a, a, smooth a smooth journey it's not it's never a, a smooth journey because after all there are people out there who uh have their views mm-hmm. who who, who thinks that things are to be done their ways mm. and then now trying to uh, maybe trying to uh, uh bring them to uh, uh, a moderation point or maybe a, a, a point that is not conflicting it's mm. never easy mm-hmm. it, it, it takes uh that's where I, I can see that it takes now the hand of god yeah yeah and also his grace and he just helps you uh how how how, how do you manage this mm. how do you do this but it's not an easy journey yeah yeah because you understand that the church set up people expect you to be perfect in one mm-hmm. way or another mm-hmm. which which will never be there yeah and as you said uh, leadership is all about going down more mm. than going up mm-hmm. because you're learning from those who are before you mm-hmm. learning from those who are you're collaborating with those that are with you yeah and you're also lifting those who are so it's all about a down journey more than an up journey yeah, yeah. it's all about humility submission mm-hmm. and reverence mm-hmm. and learning mm-hmm. continuous learning mm-hmm. wow that is impactful mm-hmm. yeah so the challenges are there i understand you you have to to face them because it's the challenge that makes us stronger yeah and yeah. if they are not there we are going to lose the basic aspect of us which is tolerance yeah. and resistance mm-hmm. so in that journey for how long have you been in the leadership position well uh like in now the current mm-hmm. uh, uh area that i'm in um this is i think the second year mm-hmm. but before that i was in another uh, uh, uh a previous before i i relocated to this place mm-hmm. i also i was somehow still in the leadership leadership and so uh as you're saying <laughs> now uh coming to now uh, uh relocating to this area or just trying to uh just stay uh uh stay just in the back or try to mm-hmm. just uh, low key. yeah 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 so that maybe uh this thing may not be noticed uh, mm. but then just god's eye on you out and just uh just you you try you just notice that this uh is it god uh trying to uh maybe trying to use me to uh to reach what he has for mm-hmm. his people mm-hmm. yeah the second year yeah yeah uh, that's been a journey mm-hmm. i think uh, you are the naturally born leaders people who you will never hide you never hide from your purpose it's who wow. you are mm-hmm. even if you try to go low key you will always find there's a low key that lifts you now to be up there but it it's it's quite a good move because you know leaders give themselves for the benefit of that person uh sometimes i know you experience the low moment in your life but you still have to be there you still have to show up and sh- and bring the best so how how do you even handle those moments when they come across well uh maybe for me uh i usually say that uh for me to lead others i have to lead myself mm-hmm. i have to lead myself and uh it means uh for me leading myself or maybe uh what i can call self leadership mm-hmm. just making sure that you are influencing your emotions mm-hmm. your feelings mm-hmm. uh uh now in in your life or towards a certain purpose mm-hmm. Then now when it comes uh, that you having a multitude or a group of people around you now this is now reflected mm-hmm. to them mm-hmm. so it means uh, now this is now you are uh, influencing or letting god influence uh, uh, your emotions or the his emotions mm-hmm. towards people for a specific objective which god has for you mm-hmm. so uh, in those moments when i'm solo i'll tell you that I'll, just uh maybe try to maybe speak out uh especially to uh to those maybe who are uh, uh have gone ahead of me or uh maybe i can look up to mm-hmm. then just try to share I'll just uh share uh, what i am going through all uh this and this and this and this uh mm-hmm. and then somehow uh you you find that they have a kind of a wisdom and they, they will be like oh I've encountered this and this and this so maybe you can try this way out mm. or when it comes maybe to a, a lucky end uh maybe you, i'm just like god this is not my thing uh 
or this is i'm not doing this to be paid i'm not doing this because i i i maybe i campaigned for mm, it mm, mm. this was this is specifically you people these are your people mm. so please handle them uh how i just uh I'll just set up is just i just let god know that these are your people mm. and and uh, and it's you who maybe position me there so just lead them mm-hmm. if i fail it means you also fail mm-hmm. so please don't allow me to reach that point because uh uh, uh they will now see uh, they will not see the 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 christ in in me and meaning that they'll somehow also be doubting about this god mm-hmm. so uh, those moments are there but then i have try to maybe look for a serene moment or a serene environment look for people maybe who are ahead of me mm-hmm. share all and and also uh commit the same man to god and tell mm-hmm. him god you have to handle this mm-hmm. I, I have reached the end mm-hmm. yeah yeah because leadership come from the lord mm-hmm. yeah and it's him who assign times and seasons for every one of us mm-hmm. uh, what we'll do at specific time so what you're doing is actually the best way because uh, you're giving back who gave it to you exactly. because he knows the best on how to handle it mm-hmm. and uh, i think the humility has gone back to the solomon's humility which is uh, give me wisdom that i may know how to lead this great number of people you've given me mm-hmm. well, i'm just because there's nobody who is always up there mm-hmm. and the problem is sometimes when you go up there then pride meets us when pride meets us then we are set up for a downfall a downfall and now coming back again there's always a big uh, controversy in between here because in any setup where there are majority of people you will never lack conflict yeah in now in just setup people are always you are always on the spot mm-hmm. to see how you'll handle conflicts mm-hmm. and i know you have experienced this in quite yeah. a number of ways mm-hmm. as you have how has been your approach in handling conflicts when they emerge mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because we have we are dealing between two souls now here. Mm-hmm. If if you judge out of order, one soul will be lost. Now you are in the spot of uh, the same thing with Solomon. You have to give the baby to whom it belongs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, uh, number one, I'll say that if you're a leader, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and especially now in this setup, uh, it's not your role to judge people. Mm-hmm. That is not your 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 purpose there. Uh, so you just let god do his thing you're not there to judge them mm-hmm. but then when t- when conflicts uh, come remember uh this is all about the kingdom and mm-hmm. maybe how you give a verdict or a solution maybe mm-hmm. may uh make a person maybe uh uh just uh say a no to salvation or such kind of a thing and you don't want that mm-hmm. you want uh maybe something that you be maybe equal and help these people mm-hmm. grow to uh towards uh uh all in their day to day lives when it comes to maybe salvation or uh, spiritual matters mm-hmm. so uh in in those times of conflict um uh i'll tell you sometimes i usually don't have even an idea of how do i do this how do i handle a case maybe you've never met uh, uh such a case in the past mm-hmm. funny enough is uh 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 you may lead uh, you all may encounter a case where uh maybe the people you trying to help solve a conflict are your seniors mm-hmm. in terms of uh, age mm-hmm. uh maybe when it comes to uh even their level of mm-hmm. either education or background or, or whatever uh they are maybe your seniors yeah and you're like oh god how do i handle this remember maybe these are uh, my elders or such a case so how do i handle this so uh i remember uh, an event or a night i had um such a, a case and i was to tackle it in the following day mm-hmm. but then i was so i was so disturbed and uh, uh the moment the the people or the person i remember talking to mm. he just told me one thing just pray about it mm. just relax pray about it and then god will sort yeah. you all will help you mm. 
so that was uh in the previous night but then uh there was there's this uh ideas or uh, fresh part of you telling you do this do that mm-hmm. quick fix yeah yeah exactly and somehow when you look at it from now uh, another dimension you you see that when i say this this is this will be the impact this will be the consequence and mm-hmm. maybe it's it may not be so appealing mm-hmm. so uh at those times there are times you you like i'm um, like god just help me do this and then i remember that following day i remember came in, i i i had an answer mm. or i just uh something came into my mind and that was the one i used and i'm like after after uh, we have we had had with the kids i'm like did was i where did this answer come from in the very first place and then you're like eh actually that was not me mm-hmm. that was actually not me mm-hmm. that was an idea from god and then there are those other times where you have really no idea and these people just really uh or they look up to you and they're like this guy uh, he all he has to have the solution to this and so you'll be like all um, i'll be like other time the, let me just uh i'll get back to you and then maybe sometimes you i'll uh, just go maybe to uh my senior and then just consult mm-hmm. uh if the case is, uh, is not so confidential mm-hmm. so it's such kind of a scenario mm-hmm. then f- from there at least when i come back uh at least i'll i'll be having an answer i'll be having a a solution who'll be maybe uh who'll be uh will be resolving uh the conflict uh mm-hmm. uh, uh which was there before mm-hmm. so it's it's uh an area where uh, there is number one uh deep consent uh consultations mm-hmm. it's not about uh me my thinking my uh how i dictate things or how i s- remember uh you just i'm just like the uh everyone else out there it's only that there is this just uh, a position that i've been given yeah so uh uh just take in mind that uh my thinking or my way of seeing things may also be wrong mm-hmm. and so if i use that then i'll i'll be uh uh not be helping in solving this solution or mm. bringing a solution mm. i'll maybe bring more conflict so it's about number one deep consultations uh, uh with my team members and also uh, uh either my pastor or uh, my seniors and then also uh also god just consulting god how do i handle this because i may not have encountered it in the mm. past yeah mm. and funny enough you just have just a way to let me say just a way to maneuver through it because af- afterwards you look at that situation and you're like wow this i didn't see this i didn't see this answer coming. god surprise yeah, yeah 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 exactly mm, that's powerful mm. you know you mentioned about uh, just taking it to god praying about it and then i was reminded of daniel when the nebuchadnezzar dream came and he went and prayed and the lord revealed him the secret because uh, he's the solution give actually in all these aspects so in, when you look at leadership because you know we have quite a lot of leadership how is the relationship between leadership and godliness the relationship between leadership and godliness how close should a leader be to god because the leader is like a, a second authoritarian after god wow. uh being a leader it means that uh, uh god has set you to be an example mm. to the people of how uh uh, uh maybe uh, the faith, it's like the face of god among those people mm-hmm. so uh in as much as uh you were saying things mm. uh, people look at your deeds and mm. not maybe your words mm. so uh number one uh there is the part of you now uh asking god lord you just have to help me uh, uh grow mm-hmm grow in all areas uh whether in prayer whether in, in in the way you handle things how you handle conflicts how you maybe you your your efforts mm. in all areas because uh many of them will be out there they will just look at you and maybe be inspired and be like wow if this is the kind of uh uh, uh this if this guy is, is has um uh, uh this because of the salvation that he has then mm. i just want to <clears> try it mm-hmm. So, and they won't tell you funny now they won't tell you so they just prag into it mm-hmm. so it's 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 an area where you just have to uh continue asking god lord help me uh help me help me it's not about uh our self-righteousness but then it's a process of you just asking god to maybe day in day mm-hmm. out just mm-hmm. help you walk in that path because 
when think when people look at you they should see now the Christ in you mm. uh, not by your words necessarily but you by but by your deeds by so your deeds. uh it's it's an area where you have just to uh remember you are just like an ambassador you you are an ambassador of Christ mm. and so being an ambassador it means you represent heaven you represent Christ mm-hmm. so if if at all the things you do are not in accordance with that then i think some people will just fall out of track in the way and just uh be like no 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 i can't handle yeah, this yeah. and 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 i remember uh, another thing i remember uh, uh in this setup uh mm-hmm. leadership it's it's not usually about uh the multitude by the it's not about uh how many people are following you or maybe you looking for people to follow you mm-hmm. it's about purpose what is that purpose that god has given you all what is that uh mandate that god has given you uh mm-hmm. towards certain people if it's three when well good mm-hmm. well and good mm-hmm. but uh you'll find that when now the objective or the purpose or the mandate is so clear mm-hmm. that now people now will just join in yeah join in join in join, in, join in. so it's not uh the other way around of you now looking for people mm-hmm. so that you lead them mm-hmm. it's now the other way around oh mm-hmm. awesome now god being close to god gives you now the ability to lead well yeah and perfect mm-hmm. because he is the first lead actually exactly and now when you when you're in relationship with him he now become the counselor now the wise counselor who gives you the wise counsels exactly so it's a call for leaders to be closer to god more than the followers absolutely because, because they are the first recipient mm-hmm. they are like the extended hand of god mm, absolutely mm. yeah that's actually the the greatest and, and i like uh the wisdom of people like solomon mm. uh because uh you see a scenario and then you're like where do this kind of a, a guy or or even a king mm. uh, uh, uh uh or maybe uh have where did this answer come from where did this answer come from and then you're like this guy must have been working with god for maybe a while such kind in such a way that uh the wisdom he mm-hmm. asked he was be you all he was given mm-hmm. that's why you you see him handling some uh certain scenario mm-hmm. and then you like that that thing i could not have managed to do it by my own so it's it's usually a journey of you with god god this is these are your people so mm-hmm. if you going to impact them then impact me so that maybe uh the same can now uh, overflow, overflow and flow to the yeah, rest to their life. because a good leader is a good team yeah, yeah good yeah. leader makes a good team yeah, yeah and if you are connected to god then your team will automatically join to the link exactly you have the, the because you have the bigger influence mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so if i'm standing here as a leader i'm speaking to the team and i'm speaking the precepts and the mysteries of god they will always follow that path mm-hmm. and remember people are uh, accustomed to what do we call a system that you create somebody will move from your leadership domain and go to another church yeah and when anything is practiced that was not done where i was coming from they will always question because they will ask in my home mm-hmm. or where i'm coming yeah. from yeah. we never used to do this, to do this, thing, this thing. and now that becomes a a, a system mm-hmm. of, of them now running the life so the leader is as the bigger influence in the life of the team and that's why we're told uh, 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 a group of sheep led by a lion can defeat a troop of lions yeah very true so we need lions as mm. leaders mm-hmm. but lions who are subjective under the principles and leadership of god so i can have the wisdom to lead in another area have you ever asked god's question and you feel like the heaven is shut over you and people are waiting for you to give a, a verdict well that is not a good place to be <laughs> i can tell you i've been there and that is not a good place to be because uh, mm-hmm. uh number one uh you f- it's kind of a confusing moment and then somehow you you have also anxiety and and fear because on the other end mm-hmm. there is uh an answer that uh, maybe is expected uh, and mm. maybe it has uh, it has a timeline too mm. so uh it's it's a moment uh of of you now asking god oh god how can you see this three uh all it's you now it's you feeling like god has a stayed mute mm. he's not speaking mm-hmm. and and where is on the other end uh uh the people are expecting an answer mm-hmm. then uh 
in those times I'll be I'll, I'll remember uh uh one thing that I've had over and over again uh take care of God's uh kingdom or God's matters he'll take care of your matters too. Mm-hmm. and in this in this case I uh it encourages me that this this is not my own so mm-hmm. I'll be like God remember if I'm embarrassed Remember if I'm ashamed mm. this is you being you are ashamed on the display this, exactly mm. this is not me this is you because these are your people they are not mine by the they are mm. not mine so mm. they are your people so even if you have you don't have to give me now a personal answer but this is these are your people please mm. do give them uh, the answer that they require and somehow you in such a scenario you just uh maybe uh hear god speak mm. either through people mm. another time it's, it's it's the fact that maybe uh, the na- the noise in your personal life is so huge uh, or it's so noisy in your personal life that you're not mm. even hearing uh the answer to the people mm-hmm. so uh, now that's where it calls for you now to just try and uh walk with god uh a bit maybe uh, uh more and mm. just try to even listen uh, when he speaks to uh, his people remember when when your personal life is uh infected or affected in a way mm. and you move away from god uh a little bit remember you there is also a, an influence that uh, will happen to the people so mm-hmm. uh now it calls for you now to just realign yourself again and be like god uh for the benefit of your kingdom for the benefit of of the people i lead please help me walk in this journey mm-hmm. exactly so, w- what you have really summarized is that leadership is all about close proximity with god at all time mm-hmm. because uh, it's like the story of moses these hard <laughs> hard people they cannot listen and mm-hmm. from the from the beginning of time my heart of man is always rebellious mm-hmm. we always want to be us and no one leading us remember when uh, when jo- Mo- Moses was up the mountain i don't know it's i don't know who was as who put you as authority over us mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that's the heart of a man yeah. who put your authority over me why would you tell me what i mm-hmm. and i know sometimes you have experienced those things people who opposition all right and center and in in that line to all that opposition i know you you have these mentors around you but how do you personally feel inside when this opposition comes well uh, you know we can say we mm, sugar coat mm-hmm. as a say christian will always say god god mm-hmm. god yeah yeah but the reality is they forget that mm-hmm. we are human yeah, yeah, yeah and there's a place that reaches that the human nature now mm-hmm. pops up mm-hmm. mm, even though you are spiritually filled there are time when that man the inner the dead man tries to resurrect mm-hmm. <laughs> so so actually uh this usually happens it's actually when it's not happening uh now know that you you, you have a problem mm-hmm. so uh just know that uh this is bound to happen mm-hmm. uh those kind of of oppositions but then uh, uh i usually call myself into a meeting and i'll be like is this the best maybe decision that mm-hmm. i i could have made and then mm-hmm. i'll be like yes this is the best all maybe it also came from now uh, the things or or the thought of many people it was not just my 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 decision or my thought and so in such an area you be like, i'll be like okay uh opposition uh, are there maybe to try it's there are critics everywhere mm. and uh, sometimes they are okay uh, because they try to help you maybe look at an area or, or an issue mm. uh, from another dimension mm-hmm. but there are other times when you know that this is exactly what is supposed to be done but then there are these opposition mm-hmm. at those times uh honestly uh, as a person you feel down you mm-hmm. feel down because mm-hmm. uh uh it's funny when you know this is a pillow and someone else somewhere tells you <laughs> otherwise mm-hmm. you know and it, for like you very sure this is what is supposed to be done mm-hmm. so obviously there will be th- those times of opposition but then uh, uh at times you uh, i'll be like okay it, what, what is the purpose all what is why is this guy doing this uh this thing and i'll try to maybe look at it from now a different view 
Uh, why is this uh, guy uh, reacting the way he is reacting? Is it because number one there is hate, or is it because maybe there is a deeper thing that need to maybe be corrected mm. uh, uh, for uh, for him now to know or to act the way he or she is supposed to do? Uh, mm. So I'll not go judgy, or I'll not be judgy on such an area. Though there is the feeling of uh, mm. going down and the feeling of feeling ah. Uh, I think this thing I should quit. There are those moments when you feel like, ah, yeah, I think yeah. I'll, I just don't, this, I don't want this thing When anymore. the man pops up. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but then uh, you, I'll try to maybe look deeper, I'll mm. look deeper. Uh, mm. Obviously, I'll take my time, maybe have uh, some time to settle down mm. and, and then uh, I try maybe also to look at it from another angle. Why is the, this reaction uh, uh, happening? Mm. Because sometimes, uh, uh, those reactions sometimes are very healthy. Mm. Sometimes they are very healthy and they can make you uh, open uh, your eyes to another area, maybe mm. which maybe there were some problems or uh, some things which are not going uh, in the right way. Mm. So uh, they help, but but then they are not uh, they are not so appealing. Uh, when they happen to you, uh, they not be so appealing. Push you to a corner. Exactly, they will push you to that corner. All right, I think uh, we're gonna take a, a very short break for a small transition and then uh, we'll be back with more on the same topic and even another one as time allows us. Stay tuned. Thank you for staying and welcome back. We are still continuing about leadership and when the heaven is silent and opposition also arises in the meantime. So I know you said that is not the best place for you to be at and uh, we, we all avoid leadership because of opposition and being at the top where everybody is now looking at you. It's like you're becoming a father to many who are not attached to you and they don't, <laughs> they don't have that attachment with you. They just want to, as a man, is built selfish. They want what is mine to be given. And in, in line to that, as at now, I know when you join the young professionals, there are exchanges that has come across. I've been there for quite a while and I've enjoyed the leadership as at now. You have built opportunities and gaps for people to, to express themselves. Uh, you brought in new people from outside to talk with the young professions and you're doing a good work. And Thank I'm you. very proud of that. Mm -hmm. on, on the other note is, uh, I know you go the extra mile to do these things. How has been the support system to you? Well, uh, let me say I have a wonderful, a wonderful uh, uh, team mm -hmm. who uh, I live with. And uh, they have really helped me. Uh, I can't really say that I've done this uh, by my own. Mm -hmm. and in, in the beginning, I said uh, it's not about your effort. Mm -hmm. Also, the, uh, although there, are, there is a bit of now the diligence part mm -hmm. of you or mm -hmm. all, uh, uh, or trying or the commitment part of you, there is uh, the big impact mm -hmm. coming from uh, the team because mm -hmm. remember you're not leading alone. Mm -hmm. uh, there is the sub that now support system and really I can I can say and maybe try to uh, uh, applaud them because they have really supported me. Mm -hmm. uh, on the face, um, it's like this guy is our leader, but mm -hmm. then uh, in the background there are some people. Uh, doing things uh, in the background. So now this opportunity to shout out to them, wow. those whom we have been leading with and has been playing the key roles. Wow. Uh, I, I remember all, uh, I've been telling them uh, time and again, and uh, uh, this, you have really done this all, you have really helped me uh, uh, do this job. And mm -hmm. uh, it's it's okay, even on live camera, to just appreciate them, those uh, I've, uh, I've uh, been or uh, I've led with, mm -hmm. because uh, what you've uh, actually done is, uh, uh, you've, okay, I've sometimes uh, taken, uh, or felt like taking the, uh, uh, the glory, but then you remember there is a support system mm -hmm. and also now the God uh, behind the scene who mm -hmm. should take the glory. So for the support system, for uh, uh, my leaders, uh, 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 for my pastors, uh, they have been there for me and they have really encouraged me uh, mm -hmm. uh, to just do this even in times when you feel like I just want to uh, call it quits. So mm -hmm. thumbs up and I'm proud of you. Yeah. 
Thank you. That's good. Mm. Yeah, you know what makes a leader is a team behind. Yeah. What makes a leader because you can fall, but who, those who pick you up are the nitty gritty, the basic people that makes you stand. So a leader is not a man, a man's island that he can do everything by himself. Yeah. The team behind him makes the good leader, mm. and it's like just a a good wife makes a good husband, mm-hmm. and and vice versa. So. On that note, I'm going to wrap up that, but I'm going to put on another topic, which is uh, time stamping. You know, we men are uh, built to have an expiry date of our expectations. Mm-hmm. And uh, this now coming back to relationship with God. What do you think as a, a Christian? Because you have experienced this. There are things you've always hoped God to do for you for a specific time, but mm-hmm. you felt like, they were going overboard Mm -hmm. like god is taking too long to do what were your response in those scenarios like when they come across in your personal life now apart from leadership well uh uh-huh that that is uh well i can see that uh there there are those moments Mm -hmm. and uh maybe they uh they usually come many times when you feel like uh for this thing maybe uh I've called on God uh, for so many times, and mm. and uh, that is uh, when you're th- looking at things now in the background, mm. or uh, as we say, uh, mambo kwa ground. Mm-hmm. It's different. Uh, uh, maybe you may seem like uh, you f- you may feel like you 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 staying so much, but then uh, I've I've come to learn uh, about god's will and that is something that has been speaking to me each and every time when i feel those kind of uh all i am in such kind of a scenario mm. because i usually ask myself well i i, I do want this thing uh very very much and at this time but then uh i, I just ask myself what if uh, god's will is not for me to get mm. this thing right now what mm-hmm. if it's about uh tomorrow all maybe not get it at uh get this specific thing mm-hmm. for now mm-hmm. but maybe get another thing better uh than this so mm-hmm. uh, uh i've always encouraged myself uh, uh on just trying to get to know what is the god will uh what is the will of god upon maybe this request that i'm submitting to him because when it's about uh, me and me and me, then I can assure you will feel frustrated. Mm-hmm. I can assure you, f- uh, you that you feel like uh, just, just uh, it will reach a point of you being in despair of all, even losing hope. Mm-hmm. But then when you, you just know about, uh, I will try to understand God's will. And mm-hmm. you even ask him, what is your will uh, uh, over my life when it comes to this uh, area or when it comes to this uh, request? Mm-hmm if uh he helps you do uh, understand that then you'll have some peace uh, mm-hmm. you have some peace to keep going and going and going mm-hmm. yeah but there are those moments when you feel like that you feel so down you're like ah god you're taking too much mm-hmm. yeah but i can assure you when his blessings come when his answer come mm-hmm. uh you'll be like wow the God, best, best this, package exactly absolutely <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so we, we we should trust more on god's will exactly than on our planning mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i believe people get frustrated over the year when we start a year with the year resolutions mm-hmm. and we put god on a time stamp and when you put him on a time stamp and he does not deliver we now don't judge him faithful mm-hmm you know, people who are the, these guys in the Bible, they judge God faithful based on what he himself promised, not what we asked him. Exactly. And now the point of disparity is that we, we try to put God on a time stamp and a, a limit that, Lord, this one, I need it by this time mm-hmm. at this moment. Mm-hmm. Remember what it say that the life of a man is in God's hand. Mm-hmm. So even if you're doing the planning, it's in vain because he has already ordained time and season for us as men. So I believe, as you have mentioned, that it's more relying on God's will than on our planning system. Actually, uh, when it comes to our plans, uh, the Bible reminds me of uh, the verse that talks about many are the plans of men, mm-hmm. but it's God who usually make uh, uh, who prevails them. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, I'm like, uh, if God was not the initiator, mm-hmm. or if He didn't initiate this, then how do you expect uh, Him to come and fulfill it? Mm-hmm. So it's 
you are uh, knowing that this is uh, what God has started and then believe you me that he'll bring it to completion. Mm-hmm. So uh, the danger part is uh, when uh, he has not started something mm-hmm. and now you're putting him on a fix uh, like you must do this uh, by this time and uh, maybe he was uh, not now maybe he was not into that uh so uh it would be like when t- uh, it, it reaches that time and it will be like ah oh, no 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 god why now why now why are you doing this but remember it's you now who who did it it's your plans mm-hmm. you didn't include god and then wh- why then are you calling you didn't include him in your plans why then are you calling him uh, mm-hmm. to fulfill it uh if at, if at all you didn't uh, uh mention it to him mm-hmm. in, in the very first place mm-hmm. yeah so that that's the scenario it's true because if you do take a good example of Joseph, mm-hmm. this guy is one guy who grew up without a vision plan. He didn't have resolutions. He went with the what God's will is for me, I'll do. And you, you see the story. Mm-hmm. And and you know, God does not always reveal to us our tomorrow. Because sometimes God mm-hmm. can reveal to you a tomorrow mm-hmm. and you wish to die today. Mm-hmm. Because it might be painful. So we, we, we men are are built to plan on a good side. But God wants to take us through a furnace so that we can be strengthened and our value increase. And we don't like the furnace experience. Yeah. It's, it's uh, somewhere that we, we die to self and now God's glory now is revealed. Do you believe this is the best point? Because for God's glory to be revealed, remember what God did even in the Bible. He created the emptiness of quite a lot of things so that his glory can be revealed. Uh, according to Colossians, they say that he makes all things for him and through him and by him. So I know you have gone through these experiences. You might have even some point lost a job that you were looking for to sustaining mm-hmm. for long. Mm-hmm. And in Aisha place, in a, where we you are not even sure of what is happening. How how did you even manage to bypass the season? Because there's somebody else out there who is maybe undergoing through the same, same, same thing. And they're hoping that God will come through for them. But they feel like the heaven is shut over them. So your, your story will motivate that person that there's benefit in waiting on God. So how, how have you navigated those hard times in your life? And where did you draw your faith from? Well, uh Waiting, waiting is a big topic, and it has so many examples. Uh, when it comes to my life, I look at my life, and I'm like, "Oh, uh, the waiting part really helped me." Remember, let me just take uh, just a direct example, like given mm-hmm. of a scenario. Maybe uh, I've lost, uh, of you lost all you expecting God to do something, and then mm-hmm. He doesn't do it. Yeah. Remember, there was a scenario that I'd lost uh, a job and. And I remember I, I I stayed for almost uh almost let me say almost a year. Mm-hmm. Then uh, uh every day you 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 paying rent and uh, and you've no this all income where maybe you expecting. And mm-hmm. I remember in in in, in that season um uh, I was with a team of uh, uh some around ten people and we just uh. uh I uh, said that we're going to just do what God expects us to do, mm-hmm. serve Him at, at, at that season. And at the, at the season, uh, I can I can tell you, it was a time of waiting and waiting. Each and every day, you you just expecting an answer from God. Mm. Be like, God, I think I just need this. But then uh, it came to me that uh, uh, now it, that is uh, now that it usually uh uh comes to me that in that period mm-hmm. there was a preparation that i was going through mm-hmm. that uh if at all i could not have gone through that preparation then i think uh, uh i would not have known god from now the the uh the knowledge that i'm the, mm-hmm. or the dimension that i know him as at now mm-hmm. but be sure even at those times of waiting who, the things that maybe are so uh key uh uh in your life just he just uh, availed them he just availed them in mm. but just by miraculous we just availed them mm. but then maybe you that thing maybe which you 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 won mm-hmm. uh sometimes you just make it uh, uh, uh to say a little bitter uh a, a little longer mm-hmm. but then uh, after all 
there is now the lesson which mm-hmm. you learn and you don't appreciate it while going through the same mm-hmm. but afterwards it's when you look at your life and you're like oh god you you made me go through or oh, wait for you for this long so maybe so that either patience in my life uh, uh can, can be impacted to me or maybe just to help you uh, uh have the uh, uh, aspect of endurance so mm. there is always a lesson which comes by that but uh believe you me in that season you cannot understand it uh, it's the thing you, you you just don't want the most but now afterwards it's mm. it's when you come to learn that god thank you that you made me through god through the fire it's now that i i, I know uh that i'm refined uh mm. and i had to go through it mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's where people come with the testimony of job mm. i have heard of the lord by this time i saw i him. have seen him i have seen him mm-hmm. and waiting actually uh, waiting is is the best place that people don't like but it's the best place because it gives you the art of valuing what god releases in your life mm-hmm. is a, a training ground that enables you now to appreciate the doings of the lord and people who have gone through waiting are the most humble and patient mm-hmm. people on earth mm-hmm. and the people who can absorb other people's problem and transform their lives because they have undergone through this and god likes teaching his children the art of waiting patience and forbearance because we are in the world where people are selfish and they want things to be done their way but if you undergone through the planning that god has given you you can even bear the other's burden because it say bear each other's burden in love and if you have not gone under these things you cannot know what love really is actually funny enough is that uh, uh god may uh, get you through such a uh, uh, such a season mm-hmm. so that you may uh, be of impact mm-hmm. to those who will come after you mm-hmm. so it may not necessarily be for you mm-hmm. uh, uh maybe god makes you through go a season mm-hmm. uh which uh, many people who comes after you will never understand but when they they hear your story they will mm-hmm. be like oh god thank you thank you mm-hmm. for bringing this person uh, uh along my life mm-hmm. but imagine if you 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 had never gone through it uh uh, be sure they they will not uh, relate to your story they will mm. not they just say you don't understand you can't get it but at least now the fact that uh, uh, they hear your story at mm. least they can relate and this makes them now either feel encouraged or just uh, have some kind of hope to get going mm. going and going so i'll say that uh, most times uh, you'll find that even what you're going through mm. may not be for you mm-hmm. it may come because of the benefit of others Other will come people. after you mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah and that's why david said it was good for me to go through the affliction that i may know your precepts exactly and uh, through that we are able to impact others so as as we are winding as we are winding up uh we we are uh, i'm going to give you a chance to speak to these people who might be in a situation of trying to give up or uh, letting go on how they can hold on wow uh one thing i have learned is that uh, god has uh, an object all uh, uh, like a plan for each and every one of us and mm. even at, at those times that you're feeling like you've lost hope imagine still even at those times uh, god still uh, got you funny mm. enough is that uh, at that time i can just call it it's it's kind of an exam season and uh, and and at that time it's when god is so close to you uh, i remember a story or an example was given that when i'm going through an exam uh, there is no way the teacher uh, just stays uh, or stays in the staff room or wherever mm. he'll come just next to me to just know how or just make sure that uh, everything is is going all right other times the teacher may may teach and just uh, disappear but at that time he'll mm. be there with me mm-hmm. though so uh, the same case may be happening to you out there you feeling like uh you are the corner you've reached the end and you feel like god has uh, disappeared or has left you uh, j- just an encouragement that uh, at that season uh in this season just know that god is right there with you and he just help you uh to just go through this and uh the point is just you have to 
trust him you just have to uh, keep uh, hoping day in day out that mm. god will help you handle this he got you he got a plan for you so uh there is no point of uh giving up even uh, uh this is i i know sometimes it's the easiest solution but just be encouraged that uh don't give up uh just try to push more and more and just ask him how uh do uh he help you all how do you help me god uh or help me god just to get through this and know maybe the lesson mm-hmm. that you want me to learn because now it's dangerous when god uh be uh gives you such a, a season to uh help you learn a lesson and then you miss it mm-hmm. so it's upon you also to ask god god thank you uh that i'm going through this season help me overcome it but also uh help me learn the lesson so that at the end of it all i'll come out victorious i'll come out a winner and also with lessons not only for me but also for all those who come after me yeah thank you awesome we thank you thank you for coming thank you for being here and uh we appreciate your presence we are honored and i know we shall be having more of these in the coming future and uh lord bless you it's a pleasure may increase you in all dimensions Amen. at all time yeah that's all for today guys and uh stay tuned for more episode coming on board and uh yeah if you have been blessed by this podcast session kindly don't forget to subscribe comment share and like for this channel to grow and reach as many as it can God bless you and God richly enrich you at all places. That's all for today. Have a blessed time. Thank you.